The way that we build today takes a lot of material and it takes a lot of energy. There's no way that we can sustain our growth on this planet unless we really reimagine what a building can be. My name is David Malad and I want to change the way we build. I've been an architect for 20 years. I've designed some of the world's tallest towers. Essentially, I want to take everything I've learned about architecture in the last 20 years and undo all of that. Concrete is hugely energy intensive to produce and you know, when a building is demolished, 80% of that goes to waste, right? We need to rethink how we build if we want to survive on this planet. Last May, our Mars Habitat, Marsha, won the NASA 3D Printed Habitat Challenge. When we were printing the Marsha Alpha, it was like a, the dream come true, but in one third of the scale. We realized we had an incredible sustainable material and technology that outperform concrete. So I started imagining like what Marsha would look like if it were made for Earth and uh, we started creating Terra. Terra is an eco-habitat uh, here in the woods. Uh, we're overlooking the Hudson River. The Marsha prototype was an experimental project. It was just a shell. Terra is a habitat, it has two floors, People stay in it overnight, and you can see the site is absolutely breathtaking. When I was there, I was walking with David, and we were coming up from a concrete path, and we could completely imagine Terra, seeing parts of Terra from behind a tree. This is always the image that we had in mind, and it has beautiful overlooks. The site itself is filled with like spectacular trees and uh, plants. So Terra is a futuristic home. We take space technology and we are applying it to Earth. We are building Terra out of a biopolymer. A biopolymer is made from corn, from sugar, and it's this rock, specifically basalt, which gives it its really, really high strength. We want to do something new, something novel, something that no one has done before because no one has printed that big of a building. That was one of the hardest part to just sit down and imagine something that no one has imagined it in the world, but it, it needed to be done. Building a traditional building is very different from what we're doing. Whenever you're building anything, it's, it's a problem-solving challenge. That's, I guess, the enjoyable part of construction is addressing all of those, having plan A, B, and C to make sure that you get the job done. To do the actual printing of Terra at this facility, I'm hoping that we can knock that out in a week or two once we hit the go button, which would be a big step up from traditional manufacturing for something like this. So what we're actually offering uh, to our supporters on Indiegogo are nights to stay in Terra. Terra will be a bed and breakfast, so you can book a single night, you can book a weekend. We are hoping to create certain experiences. You want to look back at the Earth. We, we have heard this from many astronauts. The most uh, important thing that uh, they can think of is looking back at Earth and appreciate all of the things that it's providing for you. This is not your typical Indiegogo campaign. Uh, this is about the future of humanity. Our planet is at a tipping point. There has to be a more sustainable way of building. This message needs to be started from somewhere, the current building industry. It's just so wasteful. So this whole process is just the very first step of uh, conveying this message. By supporting our mission, you will be a part of how we build for tomorrow. And that future is really gonna start here uh, with Terra today.